y'all and welcome to today's video. Today, the day that you're watching this is St. Patrick's Day. So what better day than to create a look with the Earthy Palette from Beauty Bay. That's right, I ordered these on launch day and they have just now made their way to me. I did buy the 16 pan palettes from Beauty Bay. We have the Midnight palette the berries palette and I will create looks with those but first we're gonna do the earthy palette for st. Patrick's Day this is the green palette so pretty I'm excited we're gonna create a look we're gonna do swatches all of that and right now this palette is $11 at the Beauty Bay site so we're gonna create a look if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new palettes, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week, but I'm very excited to play with this palette. So let's jump into it. So a while ago, I want to say almost a month ago, Beauty Pay released these palettes. They've taken so long to get to me, but I have the 16 color palette. They also did a 9 pan that's like a smaller version and then a 42 pan palette that is these shades plus some more plus some neutral shades. But the 16 pan palette seemed like a good size to me. So I am going to show you a close up of this palette. And then I'll also insert some arm swatches for y'all. Just swatches with my finger onto my bare arm. Now I'm excited to try this. I do think it would have been fun if they had added a couple of neutrals in with this green color story too. It feels like some of the shades are a little repetitive. Now, of course, they're not the same, but I, I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more variety in here, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test it on the eyes. We are going to see how it performs. I am familiar with the Beauty Bay formula. I have lots of palettes from Beauty Bay. I do have a Beauty Bay playlist. You can check out if you're curious on my thoughts on their other palettes. But I wanna let you know if this is the same Beauty Bay quality that I really enjoy. I think $11 is a great price point if this is that good formula. We have a mix of mattes, metallics, and shimmers in here. I think the packaging is really nice and cute. I like the cardboard. It did come packaged really well. They came in their own individual boxes wrapped in bubble wrap. So let me know. I'm gonna create a look with this today, but let me know which palette you wanna see next. Which one do you want me to do next? Yeah, I wanna know, I wanna hear your thoughts. But I'm gonna prime my eyes, I'm gonna zoom y'all in, and we will see how these shadows perform. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna grab my Sigma E40, and what I'm gonna do is kinda go in with this like mid-tone green green shade. Like, yeah, it's called a shamrock, and that's what I was thinking. I was like, this is crayon green. And I'm just going to put this right on top of my eye primer. And I'm going to put it kind of all in the crease. Just like this, buffing it back and forth. You, I mean, you can tell without me saying anything how pigmented this shade is. So pigmented. Next, I'm going to grab an E35. And I'm going to go into this light shade right up here that's called Fresh just a little bit and I'm gonna buff along the edges of that shade to blend it out just a bit right on top just kind of buffing and blending so far both of these mattes are doing exactly what I expect them to do very pigmented and blendable Okay, now I'm going to grab this E45 and I want to go into this shade right here called Pine. It's just a little bit darker than the Shamrock shade and I'm going to put this on the lash line right here. So down to the lashes and then kind of out a little bit like this and I'm just going to blend. This is kind of a pointed blender brush and that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to work it 
out here. Remember, you can always lay the color down where you want it and you can go back and blend later. But I'm also going to put this right here on this inner part. But I'm going to leave the center blank. It's just going to be covered up with shadow. So you can put this mat down if you want to. But I'm not going to waste my time blending there because we're going to do kind of like a spotlight eye. I'm also going to take this shade and run it lightly under the lower lash line being kind of messy with it because I want to accentuate this shape that we have going on so I don't care if it comes down this low. Okay, next I really want to put my brush in this shade right here called Moss. It looks like it has a lot, a lot of shimmer to it. It looks so beautiful. And I am going to spray my brush to help me minimize any fallout. So what I'm going to do is put this from lash line up. Up even a little bit above my crease, kind of into the socket like this. But I'm not taking it in this far and I'm not taking it to the outer corner. Just kind of right there. This shade is really shiny, which I like. It looks like it has a lot of sparkles. I think it would have been cool too. I know I said earlier I would have liked for maybe them to have put a couple of neutral shades in here. But also like a yellow would have been cool with this color story. I don't know that we needed all of these. Like maybe we could have swapped out like for this or this one. Maybe we could have got a true yellow. That would have been fun, I think. But, you know, Beauty Bay didn't ask me. So that's not worth my, <laughs> my wishes aren't worth much. But I do think this is pretty. Okay, I'm now going to take this E30 from Sigma. And I want to go into this shade right here. I think this is called Kava. And I'm going to pick this up on this pencil brush. And I'm just going to use this to highlight the inner corner right here. And that's a really pretty intense shade. Like, really impressed with that shade. It's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to grab this flat brush. And I want to go into the deepest green in the palette. The deepest matte shade called Ivy. So I'm going to put my brush in there. And we're just going to keep this very close to this lowest, lower lash line. Not bringing it as far down as we brought the other green shade. So I'm just going to drag that along. Just like that. And then I'm going to put on some eyeliner, some mascara. And I'll come back. We'll kind of see how the look is coming together. I'll tell you my thoughts on this palette and we'll see the finished look. So I will be right back. Okay, y'all, this is my finished look. I threw on some false lashes. I'm wearing the kind of middle pair from this faux lash trio from Beauty Bay. Uh, to complete this look, I also put on some little crystals on my eyes. Do you see three crystals? Isn't that fun? I'll link them down below where I got these little crystals, but they were so easy to like apply. I just used a little lash glue. I feel like I'm giving St. Patrick's Day vibes. I'm so excited about it. Now, let's talk about this palette because I did purchase this palette myself and... I'm happy with it. 11 bucks monochromatic green palette. It's the same Beauty Bay formula that I've used in the past. I like it. I think it's really pretty. Performed really well. If I could make changes to this palette, I would throw in maybe one deep dark, almost black, cool toned brown shade and maybe like one or two pops of yellow. I think that would be fun. Like a bright, true like crayon yellow shade and then maybe like a dandelion more golden mustardy yellow shade. I think those three shades could have broken up the, the palette a little bit more and made it a little more versatile because overall you're going to get green looks with this palette. Now you can get a variety of green looks with this palette. We do have like 
green like I'm wearing like G R E E N green you can get some light more minty shades you could get some more mossy kind of more neutral leaning greens so you definitely can get different green looks but overall it's a monochromatic green palette I'm very happy to have this in my collection I really like my look too honestly like I need some green eggs and ham I'm feeling myself I'm here for it I'm loving the little crystals I will say I did use my game beauty dendro highlight this is like the kind of green sparkly shifty highlighter I think it looks super cute with this for blush, I decided to use my Hindash Monochromats palette. I'm using Heart and Throb mixed together right here. On my lips, I just have my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Lip Contour with my Hangover RX Banana Lip Balm from Too Faced. So that is how I finished off this look. I would like to know what you think. Do you like the greens? Are you into it? And tell me, which palette do you want to see? Because I'll probably upload a video with one of these tomorrow. So let me know which one should I pick. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Tomorrow, actually. Bye.